Assalamualaikum. My name is Widi Mutakin, founder of Expo Studio and Expo Academy. In this video, I want to show you how to fix Blender's extrude manifold feature. To give you a bit of context, let me first explain the differences between extrude manifold and the standard extrude command. If you already know the differences, then feel free to jump straight into the solution or the workarounds chapter. Before the extrude manifold command existed, most Blender users were already familiar with how the standard or ordinary extrude command works. With the same E shortcut, we can extrude vertices, edges, and faces. Mostly, the extrude command works fine, except in two situations. First, when you need to extrude inward a face located on a border area. And second, when you need to create a hole in a mesh by extruding faces across the mesh volume. You see, unlike in vertex and edge modes, in face mode, besides extruding out, you can also extrude inward. This works fine if the face you want to extrude is at the center of the surface. But if the face exists in a border area like this one, extruding it inward will result in unwanted faces around its border. Also, if you try to create a hole in a mesh using the standard extrude command, you cannot do that. It will just create a face or faces penetrating the back faces. So, the standard extrude command in Blender feels a bit outdated if you compare it with other 3D software, for example, the push-pull tool in SketchUp and the smart extrude tool in 3ds Max. Both can handle border faces and also create holes in a model quite easily. To answer this challenge, the Blender team developed a new modern extrude command called Extrude Manifold. It was introduced in 2020 or in Blender version 2.9 to be exact. However, things did not go as expected. The first release of this command still has many limitations. Many users have high hopes that the feature will get better and better in each future release. But 5 years later, nothing has changed. It is still the same half-baked extrude manifold feature. Let me show you what I mean. You can access the extrude manifold feature via the tool in the tools panel. Or via the shortcut Alt-E, which opens up the extrude pop-up panel and then choose this command extrude manifold. Notice that I already created a custom shortcut for this command which is shift E. If you use this command on a face in a border area, it works fine as long as it does not cross any edges. But as soon as we try extruding across edges, it will leave faces much like the ordinary extrude command. The second limitation is that if you try to create a hole by extruding a face or faces across the model, it will just penetrate the back faces like the standard extrude. Again, I really hope this command gets updated in the future so it is on par with the push-pull tool in SketchUp or the smart extrude in 3ds Max. But while we are waiting for the update, there are ways to work around these limitations. This is what the video is all about. The solution to perform extrude manifold across edges is to stop first on each of the edges. Let's say you want to extrude manifold on its face all the way to the bottom. First, you can perform an extrude manifold and snap it to this edge, and another one by snapping to this edge, and so on, until you reach the bottom. You can then delete the remaining face. Okay, this is good and all. But what if you have hundreds of these edges getting in the way? Surely, you don't want to stop on each edge as that will take too long. In such a case, you can just extrude manifold all the way to the bottom. And then select one face at the start. Hold control. Remember, you need to hold control, not shift. And then click one at the bottom. And then one at the start again. After we have them selected, we can press X and choose faces. Yes, it is still manual labor, but you only need to perform 3 clicks. Okay. 
Now, you might be wondering, what about these n-gons then? How can we convert them into quad faces? Well, if you only have like 3 or 5 sections like this, you can click on one of the top vertices, and then hold shift, and then click here, click here, then here, and so on. You need to create a snake-like pattern that connects the points in a correct order. This is important because later the pattern will define the locations of the new edges. After that, just press J on the keyboard. As you can see, the new edges follow the pattern of how we selected the vertices. Okay. But what if you have hundreds of these segments in your 3D model? Surely, you don't want to do that snake-like pattern clicking hundreds of times. In that situation, it is better to just delete these two faces or this single edge. And then in the edge mode, hold Alt and click on any of the edges in the hole. And then open the face menu and then find the grid fill command. The first result may not resolve the issue, but you can try increasing the span value here to match the number of sections in the model or until you see the correct result. Alright, so those are the solutions for extruding border faces. Next, we want to tackle creating holes using the extrude manifold. Now, if you only need to create holes in the center faces, or your model happens to be all quads, both in front and on the back side, you only need to select the correct faces on both sides. And then after that, right click and then choose bridge faces. This will create a nice all quads hole on the model. However, if you want to create a hole from faces that are not exactly at the center, say one of the faces is in the border area, and also the back side of the model is not made of quad faces, in this condition, you can follow this step. First, make sure the faces you want to extrude are selected, and then perform extrude manifold and snap it to one of the vertices at the back side. Next, hold shift and then select the back face. Open the face menu and then choose intersect boolean. Because I use this method a lot, I already assigned a custom shortcut shift control i. After you use this command, by the way, your model is fixed. You will have a nice hole from end to end. You may want to connect some of the vertices in this area with edges to avoid n-gons, but most of the time, you can leave them as they are. If you are interested in learning Blender from the very basics, especially if you want to use Blender for architecture and or interior design projects, then you should join my online course series. This course series will guide you step by step from basic 3D modeling Authoring PBR materials, texturing, UV editing, lighting, rendering, compositing, and so on. Currently, I have the core series until floor plan creation, and I am still working on a course on designing a complete house from start to finish. Hopefully, all of the courses are done by the time you watch the video. Besides, on Payhip, you can also find these courses on Udemy and on Skillshare, that is, if you prefer these learning platforms. I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Wassalamualaikum.